Mark, your uh, episode of Inside the Actors Studio, which was one of the uh, first ones, really, one of the very early ones, is so brilliant, and oh. I've watched it so many times. And among some of the amazing stories you tell on there, uh, one of the ones that just so sticks with me is about your experiences in On Golden Pond. And, of course, Henry Fonda's last film, for which he received the Oscar, his only Oscar, and how ill he was during the shooting, and I, I'd love for you to share some of those stories. Well, you know, uh, when, when Jane Fonda called me and asked me to do uh, On Golden Pond, she had bought the play for her father mm -hmm. as a kind of gift. Uh, also, that they had a very difficult relationship, yes. and because the, uh, for those of you who, who have seen On Golden Pond, it, it, a lot of it has to do with a, a daughter trying to recapture the relationship with her father that she had lost. And that's why she bought the play, because she thought that, that she could heal her life mm -hmm. by doing the play with him. Mm -hmm. And it was a great gift for him, because yes. he hadn't been working. And uh, she came to me and said, can you get us Katherine Hepburn? I said, holy <laughs> smoke. But I was able to do that. She was uh, another miracle. Mm -hmm. Catherine Hepburn was one of the most remarkably gifted actresses I've ever had the pleasure of working with. And I've worked with a lot of really good actresses uh, and actors, including this one. Actress? Actress. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, um, you know, she, K Kate Hepburn, she could do anything that you asked her to do immediately. She didn't have to work to get it. Didn't she test you a bit on the first day of shooting? Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you expect that, you know, from sure. a major star? She, um, she came, uh, we had all picked wardrobe. You know, she'd come to my house and we put uh, various old pants on her and old sweaters and stuff like that. And I came to the, uh, the set, it was the first day of shooting, and it was a lovely, home on, on uh, a lake in uh, New Hampshire. And uh, I'm about to, I'm laying out the first shot, a dolly, a long dolly shot of the car coming into to this house. And somebody, the, the wardrobe person came over and said, you better go see what she's wearing. I said, what do you mean? We've picked out the, the, the old tattered pants and a sweater and what, what, do you, what do you mean? What she's, I know what she's wearing. She said, you better go back and <laughs> see what she's wearing. So I go behind the house, and there she's standing having coffee, and she's, wear, she's got on a, a big black hat, a black uh, um, uh, blouse, gorgeous silk blouse, and slacks, beautiful slacks. <laughs> uh, you ask if she's testing. So uh, I walked over to her and I said, Kate, uh, we're getting ready to shoot. I think you better go put on the appropriate wardrobe. And she said, oh, this will be fine. <laughs> I said, no, that's not fine. Go put the wardrobe on that we picked. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. <laughs> I said, in front of the whole crew, I said, everybody want to take a 10-minute break because Miss Hepburn is about to go to her dressing room to put on the wardrobe that we selected for the scene. And wow. she rose imperiously. Her eyes flooded with tears, and she whirled and went off and put on the appropriate wardrobe. That's great. Where, where was Hank? Hank was standing next to me. The first thing he said was, there goes the picture.